One of the best things about these trips is finding new ingredients. So here we're at Pretty Cool Aboriginal Culture Tours and it's all about bush tucker. We are on Dwayne. I'm Andy. Yep, no worries, Dwayne. Nice to meet you. Yep. So Andy, what's the plan here, mate? We're on the pandanus hunt. All you do is pull the middle out. Um, so yeah, pretty much tastes like cabbage. Can so you cook it? Taste of it. Um, yeah, you can. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I might use it in a dish. Yeah, yeah. Can we get any of that? Like, to take away? <laughs> <laughs> Just be careful of the spikes and pull it out. Oh, that's a belter. Yeah, perfect. There's another oh, one. Oh, that's another sick one. Dwayne, thanks, mate. You bloody nailed it. Yeah, no, no worries. Any time. I might grab the scotch. Do you know how to cook it? I think so. The only fresh buffalo we can find in the whole of Darwin. And it's born and bred in... Oh, Darwin. you said you didn't like cameras. I don't, but I'm just <laughs> telling you. You guys can probably tell already, being in the Northern Territory has fully swept me up. I'm finding new ingredients that I've never seen or tasted or cooked with before, so I'm really interested to see how they go together. One, our pandanus. Uh, we're gonna treat it very similar to cabbage and sweat it down really hard, get a bit of color on there. And the second, we found some of that roadside buffalo. We're gonna treat that like a very rare piece of meat similar to kangaroo. Sear it really hard, keep it quite rare. Serve it on a bed of that charred pandanus. And then my favourite accompaniment to go with all kinds of protein, the charred herb salsa. First thing, we're going to start with our pandanus. I've cleaned these guys up a little bit. We're only trying to use sort of that white part. Run our knife pretty roughly through it. We're just going to get that in a bowl. I'm going to need that olive oil. Oh, what's it doing over there? Right here, we're on to our buffalo. So in this bowl, I've chopped up some oregano and then some grated lemon zest and also some garlic. We're gonna bind that together with our good Australian extra virgin olive oil. We've got a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and now we're gonna go in with our buffalo and get that nice and marinated. Okay, so ideally, I'd be leaving that guy overnight. We've got things to do, places to see, so I reckon we're just gonna leave that for about 15 minutes. Okay, we've got a smoker of a pan now, and in goes our pandanus. Now, this is something that I've never cooked before, so it's gonna be about tasting, seasoning. Northern Territory, turn it up. Okay, so we're gonna go in with a nice pinch of salt, a good cracked pepper, and then just keep cooking these guys down. I think I've come up with a genius idea. We're just gonna get a bit of the old hot ale in there, just to sort of steam them through. And just let them cook down a little bit further and we're hopefully gonna to start to soften these guys. So next thing we're gonna get onto is our buffalo and for that, we need a screaming hot pan. We wanna get the olive oil in there so we create a contact from the pan to our buffalo. And then in we go. I'm gonna flip these guys and that's good. We've got a nice crust on there. Good bit of color, another minute and a half. Rip them off. I think we're there now, so super rare we want these. I'm gonna get them off. Next we wait four minutes, and while we're doing that, charred herb salsa time. We've been traveling around for a couple of days. We bought a few herbs at the start of the week. We're talking parsley and coriander. Starting to go a little yellow, a little sort of limp. So instead of canning them, I'm just gonna lather them up. One even layer, it's over a hot flame. See there? That's what we're looking for. Just that nice little dark color on it. Just gives it a little smoky flavor. Trust me on this one. And then we'll go on with our parsley. I think that was on there for no longer than sort of 20 to 30 seconds. So we're just gonna run our knife through it. Once we get to the stem end, we'll go a bit finer there. And one advantage of keeping these stalks on, they've got a lot of chlorophyll in them. So that's gonna keep this salsa green for a lot longer than it would if you rip the stalks off. Going in with a quarter of a finely diced red onion. All right, let's go full chili, eh? Like half a garlic clove, apple cider vinegar. Probably about two teaspoons. Dijon mustard, about three quarters of a tablespoon. I reckon the hero of this, because we've used nearly three quarters of a bottle, probably two tablespoons of good quality, extra virgin olive oil, some salt, and a little bit of pepper. Everything's ready, it's time to plate up. And we're just gonna create a nice little pile in the middle of our plate. Let's check in with our buffalo. 
is going to be nice and rare. And then charred herb salsa. That's it, so we've got braised pandanus, the seared buffalo, and some charred herb salsa. That's a classic NT cook-up for me. Two ingredients that I'd never tried before I'd cooked them today. And I think pairing those flavours together is what cooking's really all about.